This is the story of Blinky Bill and Flap and Nazi too. And Wombo, Ruff and Marcia and Splodge the Kangaroo. Now they all lived in Green Patch Town as happy as can be. With friends and neighbours all around, the same as you and me. But then one dark and gloomy night, when all the bush was still, some bandits came and stole the trees to feed their wood chip mill. And when at last the morning came, the timber trucks moved on. And there where Green Patch used to be, the little town was gone. Hey, hey, Blinky Bill, save us from that wood chip mill. If you don't do it, no one will. Good old Blinky Bill. Hey, hey, Blinky Bill, get in there and fight until we're safely back on Green Patch Hill. Good old Blinky Bill. So come and see what happens next to Blinky and his friends. But ten to one, you'll never guess the way the story ends. Watch Blinky help to save the bush and replant every tree. So come on, we'll rebuild the town. Just you watch and see. Hey, hey, Blinky Bill, save us from that wood chip mill. If you don't do it, no one will. Good old Blinky Bill. Hey, hey, Blinky Bill, get in there and fight until we're safely back on Green Patch Hill. Good old Blinky Bill. Save us from that wood chip mill If you don't do it, no one will Good old Blinky Bill Hey, hey, Blinky Bill Get in there and fight until we're safely back on Green Patch Hill Good old Blinky Bill Good on ya, Blinky! One, two, four, three! Now this is a serious bicycle race, guys. So I want you to give me your solemn word about cheating. Of course we'll cheat. Is there any other way? Right then. May the best cheat win. On your mark, get set. Eat my dust! And so Romeo climbed onto the balcony where Juliet waited for him in the moonlight. Their families were at war with each other, so it was very dangerous for Romeo and Juliet to meet like this. Well, why didn't they just chat on the phone? Hmm. Uh, on her own? No, no, Juliet wasn't on her own. I, I just told you, Romeo was there. Uh, no, Granny, what Flat meant was... If it was so dangerous for them to meet, why didn't Romeo and Juliet simply talk on the telephone? Maybe uh, on, on the what? On the elephant? Oh, you children must be losing your hearing. I distinctly said Romeo and Juliet were talking on the balcony, not on the elephant. Yeah, really? Who ever heard of someone talking on the elephant? <laughs> oh, unless, of course, they were making a junk call. <laughs> yes, well, I'm surprised you find Romeo and Juliet so funny. Romeo and Juliet is a story of great romance and drama in which two young star-crossed lovers have to endure parental disapproval, sword fights, and even death before they were together again for all eternity. The story of Romeo and Juliet is very old and is one of the greatest stories of all time. Well, wouldn't it be great to live back then? Yeah, especially with all those sword fights. Oh, nothing exciting ever happens these days. Egg! You brute! You bully! You bikey! Tut tut! What could be worse than a dingo on a bicycle? Two dingoes! <laughs> huh? Hell! Out of my way, carrot breath! Well, <laughs> <laughs> Cyclists, they always stop for an ice cream. Or at least they slow down. 
Oh, what a perfect day. I feel on top of the world. <laughs> it would take more than that to ruffle mere pelican's feathers. Delinquent dingoes! Oh, poor Mr. Pelican. Look out! They're coming back! Watch it, Granny! King <laughs> Why! Phew! <laughs> uh oh! Oh, my only pair of glasses. What am I going to do? Reading is the only pleasure I get, and I can't afford a new pair. Don't worry. I'm sure everything will be okay. You're going to give me a bouquet? Oh, how sweet. Well, at least I still have my hearing. Blinky, you forgot to give Granny her book. Uh, don't worry, she can't read it anyway. I'll give it back later. No time now. I've got to try and fix these. Well, I've had to fix a few broken windows in my time. This should be easy. Well, I can't give her those. What will I try next? Um. That's it. Wombo wears glasses. He won't mind if I borrow them for a while. Where are you going with my glasses? I was just um, going to, to clean them for you, sir. <laughs> Blinky. Well, actually, I wanted to borrow them for Granny. The dingoes broke hers, and she can't read us her stories. Silly boy. My glasses are useless for other people because each pair is made differently by the optician. Why not go and have a word with him? Uh, yeah. Well, I was going to do that anyway. <laughs> Uh, good morning, Blinky. Uh, what can I do for you? Can you fix these? Uh, what is it? You should know you made them. They're Granny Koala's glasses, of course. <laughs> I say, it looks like someone's tried to fix them with sticky tape. <laughs> can you imagine? <laughs> Sticky tape? Really, eh? <laughs> but uh, she really needs to get a new pair. Oh, but of course, yes. I'll sell you a new pair for a bargain price of 200 gum nuts. 200 gum nuts? Isn't that a bit steep? Oh, it's a specialised skill. How many echidnas do you know that can grind lenses? I've ordered the new glasses, but they'll cost 200 gum nuts. 200 gum nuts? I'm afraid so. Can we all put our money together? Seven gum nuts, a button, and a bottle top. Ten gum nuts. Only five. Nothing. Well, that leaves 178 gum nuts to find. How are we going to raise that amount? Sell something? We've got nothing to sell. We can sell cakes at a cake stall. Can anyone make cakes? I can fry eggs. 
Well, I can boil potatoes. I can boil water? Hmm, not very good, is it? I already miss Granny Koala's stories. They're so dramatic and entertaining. That's it. They're so good, people might pay money to see one performed. Oh, good yeah. idea, please. Good idea. Well, they are plays, after all. We could charge people five gum nuts a ticket, just like a real theatre. Golly, that's a lot of money for one little ticket. Five gum nuts. Yeah, but it'd be a great show. Romeo and Juliet has been a favourite with audiences for centuries. But where will we stage the show? Our theatre hasn't been built yet. Hmm. Why not use the school? Yeah, good idea. Forty tickets at five gum nuts each. Mm. That adds up to a lot of gum nuts. And where there's gum nuts, there's dingoes. Binky, forty tickets at five gum nuts each make two hundred gum nuts exactly. It's exactly what I wanted to say. We start rehearsals tomorrow. Yeah. 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 Two hundred gum nuts. Ah, oh, good work, Shifty. Ah, oh, good work, Shifty. Yeah. Ah, uh, two hundred gum nuts. Oh, I could buy a hundred chocolate milkshakes for that. I could get a new bike with eighteen gears. I could send away for that Arnold Schwartz and Dingo bodybuilding course. Oh, I could buy a new summer outfit. Do you realise that this one is three weeks old already? Danny, why don't you buy me some new clothes? Because anything more than sunglasses is overdressed. <laughs> do you really think we can do it? If Blinky and his pals can make so much money, then so can the dingoes, and we won't have to do anything illegal or underhand. Well, maybe a little. Now here's the plan. You want to put on a play in my school? Don't be ridiculous. Oh, but Miss Magpie, absolutely not. We only want you to lend it to us for one Saturday evening. It is for a good cause and it's educational and you get a free ticket. Free ticket? Ah, oh, well, that's different then. You can borrow the school. But I want to see it in the front row, right in the middle. Hooray! Yippee! Hooray! Yippee! Hooray! 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 Hip, hip, hip. <laughs> Juliet by William Shakespeare and Blinky Bill. I better make a few changes. This Shakespeare guy can't write for Toffee. I mean, all these vowels and these will have to go for a start. And all that rubbish at the beginning of the play. Everybody knows who Romeo and Juliet are, so uh, let's start with a balcony scene. And as for the ending, well, you can't have the hero and the heroine die, so I'll give it something a little more cheerful. As uh, they get married and open a fish and chip shop by the beach. Hmm, that's it. Ah, oh boy, this writing business is easy. Stage business is hard. Why can't Blinky help us again? He's fixing up the play, putting in a few more jokes and a dance number. Yeah, it needs it. Where shall I put them, Splodge? Over here or over here? How about over here? Oops. Romeo and Juliet Written by 
world famous Blinky Bill, based on the diary of the great koala family. Saturday at the schoolhouse. Tickets five gum nuts. Ooh, we haven't had any live theatre in um, Green Patch for ages. <laughs> no, uh, not since Sir Lawrence O. Lizard injured himself uh, trying to do a one-man version of Seven Brides for Seven Brothers. What's Sir Romeo and Juliet about? I think it's a comedy. <laughs> you know, like Laurel and Hardy and Abbott and Costello. No, no, it's a cop show, like Cagney and Lacey. Oh, it sounds like a funk group. Like Simon and Garfunkel. Excuse me, but what is Romeo and Juliet about? It's about half an hour. Oh, good. That's my favourite sort of show. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah great. Oh, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, well, we've all learned our lines. So it's now time for the big dress rehearsal. Why is it called a dress rehearsal? Because you get to wear a dress. You're playing Juliet's mother. Oh, snap my suspenders. Does this mean I don't get to have a sword fight? I know. I can also play Romeo's best friend and Juliet's brother having a sword fight with myself. Now, let's run through the balcony scene. It's the most important moment in the play. Positions, everyone. But soft. What light through yonder window breaks? It is the east, and Juliet is the sun. Oh, Romeo, Romeo, wherefore art thou, Romeo? Deny thy father and refuse thy name. Or, if thou wilt not, be but sworn, my love, and I'll no longer be a Capulet. Juliet, come us inside. Your dinner is getting coldest. Ah, oh, perfect! Then we have the sword fight. A brief wedding and we close the show singing La 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 la. Oi! Any questions? Yeah. Can I at least do without the makeup? Ah, uh, that looks pretty easy. Oh, I reckon we can do this much better than Blinky. Yeah, talk about amateurs. Not only are we going to walk off with all their money, but we'll probably pick up a couple of Oscars as well. Come on, come on, children, hurry up. Oh, 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 oh. of course. It was my idea that the children put on Romeo and Juliet. Shakespeare is my favourite playwright. Boy, are you in for a surprise? Ah, oh, Shakespeare. What a poet. Uh, you know, when I make my speeches, I often feel like the bard. <laughs> yes, and we feel like the board. Wombo, you young pup, what have you brought me to? I, I can't see a thing without my glasses. I've brought you to the theatre, Gran. What? You've brought me to hear a band? You, you sly old dog. You haven't taken me dancing since 1947. You know what to do, guys. Take up your positions. Mr. Mayor, Miss Magpie, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, hi, Mum. <laughs> oh, welcome one and all to the Gully Theatre's production of Romeo and Juliet. Tonight's performance is for a very special cause. And we will be collecting your donation after the show. Oh, good idea. Well, that's a good idea. <laughs> as I say, very good. In the meantime, sit back and relax as we present for your enjoyment, Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> that William Shakespeare's a funny writer, isn't he? <laughs> but soft, what light through yonder window breaks? It is the east, and Juliet is the sun. Ah, <laughs> 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 uh, Romeo, Romeo, uh, my kingdom four, uh, an Alpha Romeo. <laughs> what? Ah, uh, to be or not to be, uh, that is the uh, quotation. <laughs> Done with Nazi. Stop blocking my way. First, fair Nazi. Meatball got there first. But he's ruining the show. 
What are you talking about? Meatball speaks Shakespeare fluently. Uh, is this a dagger I see before me? Uh, 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 rose by any other name would... Oh, uh, 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 it pricked my finger. <laughs> oh, my finger. Oh, I might have known. What are you doing here? If you can put on Shakespeare, so can we. And we will have earned the money fair and square. But, but the money's not for the performers. It's for a special charity case. And who's a more deserving charity case than we poor dingoes? Well, you're not going to get away with this, Danny. And what are you going to do? Call the show off? Then nobody gets any money. Uh, Juliet, I'm Bacchus. Who are you? I'm Romeo. No, I'm Romeo. I'm God, imposter. Oh, how romantic. Two Romeos fighting over me. <laughs> I'm God. A duel. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a blinky. We made it. <laughs> Brilliant, it really brought the house down. And that's tonight's performance, folks. <laughs> Just five gum nuts if you enjoyed it. <laughs> Ten if you didn't. Thank you, sir. Yeah, oh, thank you, on. ma'am. <laughs> yes, well, over here. Here, here's mine. <laughs> Romeo and Juliet, as you've never seen it before. Oh, thank you. Thank you. It's all for a good cause. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Danny! Uh, yes? Um, well, for a performance like that, I would proudly give 100 gum nuts. Uh, just one more thing. Um, yeah? Uh, what did you say the money was for? Oh, um... Uh, <laughs> Granny's, Granny's new glasses! Really? Oh, what a splendid idea! That's very noble of you, Danny! And I suppose you want to hand it over personally? No, 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 don't be modest. This is a fine thing you're doing. <laughs> be proud of it! I mean, it's not every day you get to be such a help in the community. <laughs> and Granny will be so glad you've really made her day. <laughs> oh, her new glasses. <laughs> oh, hooray! <laughs> and now that I can finally see again, could you possibly put on Romeo and Juliet for me? Good day, old mate. I'm Blinky Bill. I bet you've heard of me. I'm living in Australia up a eucalyptus tree. To a word those awful grown ups say, I'm almost on my best behavior nearly every day. I'm Blinky Bill, my whole life's a thrill. I do exactly what I like. I'm Blinky Bill. He's Blinky Bill, his whole life's a thrill. He does exactly what he wants, he's Blinky.